Today I'm going to show you how to create an IED and a suicide bomber. Now to begin with, we are on the Kunduz Afghanistan map. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place a player. I'm going to put him on the roof facing that direction and all he's going to do is just act as an observer. Then we're going to go over here to this little intersection and we're going to go to props and we're going to type in IED and what comes up is explosives so you get up different options so what we're going to do is we're just going to choose this bottom one here and we're going to place it right about there now you can barely see it but another thing you could try other than these other IEDs is to type in garbage and at the top here under junk you could see garbage 3x3, three three, garbage 5x5 five five. you could do something like that where you can hide an EIED in there in your missions nobody would ever know so, I mean this is if you know there's IEDs and it looks like that there's a good possibility that you could identify it and you know not step on it but if you just see garbage well, you know, sometimes you don't even know if it's part of the map or something you placed. So it's up to you, but we're going to just go with the uh, IED for now. So that's our first step, is to place an IED. And then we're going to edit this, and we're going to name it IED. Pretty simple. Just hit OK. Next, we need a trigger. Go to triggers and just choose the top one. I'm going to place a trigger on the outside right now. Go to area widget and doing so will allow you to expand it. So we're going to edit the trigger a second, make it a square. I just hit OK for now. And basically, we want to make this about the size of this IED, not any bigger. And we're just going to turn it a little bit. So now let's edit the trigger and let's make this 5, that's fine. Now we're going to set the activation to anybody and activation type will be present. Then we're going to go to the activation on activation line and we're going to type in a code. So I'm going to give you this code underscore B O O M space equals space quote and then we're going to type in b o small o underscore g b u 12 underscore l g b and then you're going to end that with a quote and then you're going to hit space and then you're going to type in create and then type vehicle one word just like you see it, create vehicle. Remember the C and the V are capitalized. And you're going to hit space, get, and in capital P, pause, space, IED, and then semicolon to end the code. So just let's go over this code real quick. So boom equals the GBU 12 is actually a class name for a bomb that you can be dropped in the game. There are other bombs you could use and I'll show you a, a, a wiki page on that to give you an idea of what bombs you could use. Then we have create vehicle which basically creates this bomb and it gets the position of the ID which happens to be our placed object. So after you have that, uh, that's all you need to do. Just hit OK. Next we're going to basically place it over the IED. What's going to trigger this off is we're going to create a person that's going to basically walk into this IED. So we're going to place this guy, we're just going to place a civilian and we're going to give him a waypoint and his waypoint is going to basically just be right through here, right through the center of that, and let's set him to limited so he walks there, hit OK, and that's it. So now, 
let's save our little mission here. And we're going to put this on Kunduz, Afghanistan. And this is going to be IED underscore suicide underscore bomber. Okay. All right, let's test it out. I'm running some gameplay mods, so that's why the effect is bigger than normal. Alright, let's go back to the editor. That was pretty cool. Let's create another situation where we have a suicide bomber. So now, let's go back to the trigger. And let's move it to the side. The trigger is fine. You can leave the trigger as it is. So instead of using this, we're just going to remove that. We're going to name this guy... IED. Let's let's edit his loadout. I'm gonna give him a little uniform. Actually, let's give him that. But a little schmug. There you go. There's your suicide bomber. You go to your trigger here and you move it to where you want this guy to basically detonate. So remember, we still have the trigger set to anybody present, so if he walks into the trigger, it's going to go off. Alright, let's save that and let's check it out. Crazy. I'm going to show you that wiki page. I'm going to move the trigger to the side and edit the trigger. So remember what I was saying. You could change this class name to another bomb type. So let's go to the wiki. What you're going to type in is Arma 3 Assets. And basically, this will bring you to the wiki the Arma 3 Assets Wiki. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says Magazines. And then you're going to look in the Ammo section. Not the Class Name section, but the Ammo section for your bomb. So we're going to scroll down. And the one I used is down here. Alright, this is the Class Name that I used. Normally this is the Class Name this is a GBU-12 500 pound high explosive and this is what you want to use now if you scroll down you could use the MK-82 that's another type of bomb it's about the same explosion type as this one and then if you scroll down even more uh, you could try some of these they, they may not work like you have bomb F4 that should work uh, bomb 3. Let's try that one. So we're going to go back in game and we'll edit our trigger and paste it and hit OK. Put that right there and we'll save that and check it out. <laughs> Holy smokies. Alright guys, I hope you like that. You can do a lot of things with IEDs and suicide bombers. That's it, and I uh, hope you find this useful. And I want to thank you guys for watching. For more tutorials, codes, and scripts, take a look at this playlist. Thank you.